YouTube NFT fam. This is a quick tutorial on how to make a new collection um, for to put up on OpenSea. So once you have a profile, that should be easy to make, right? Um, get a profile and then you click here and then you go to my collections. As you can see, I have three over here and I have another one somewhere else. All you have to do, it's going to be empty. You click create a collection. You may have to pay a one-time gas fee. I'm not sure. I paid $80 in March, and since then, everything's been free. I can upload as many images as I want. I can delete them. I can change them. Once you set a price, you can lower the price, but you can't go back up. You have to delete it if you want to re uh, you know, redetermine what your price is if it's higher. You're going to add a logo image, a featured image, and a banner image. You're going to put the name. You're going to write a description. You're going to add a category most likely art, right? Because we're doing art stuff. You're going to add any of your social links. You're going to determine what percentage of royalty do you want. I put 10 for mine. Um, it's basically whenever your artwork sells, this number percentage goes back to you in secondary sales, which you will get paid, I think, once a month. And then you're going to determine whether you want Ethereum or Polygon. Um, I recommend Ethereum. But you can also do Polygon. It comes with no gas fees for people that are buying it, pretty much. But I think Ethereum has a lot of respect. So I went with Ethereum for my collections. Um, so if you pick Ethereum, that's all you have to do. You could add additional tokens if you want. But just pick Ethereum or WETH. And then you're going to press Create. And that's it. And then literally you get a collection. So now we're going to look into some of my collections. This is the one that I created yesterday. It's called the Evolution of Flowers gene <laughs> Generative Version. So I put up 45 pieces. So once you have a collection started, you could start adding items to it. So let's say I wanted to add another flower. I created this collection because people like PFP projects and my work is one of one. So I decided to just do different backgrounds, the same flower. I literally just, you know, you duplicate the image and it's the same flower. And then I'm going to add some traits to it, you know. But anyway, you click add an item. You put your image. You write the name of it. You write the description. This is the collection it's in. You can add properties, but sometimes I don't. And that's it. You press create. And once you press create, let's just do an example for now. Um... I don't know what this is. <laughs> Let's just do this as an example. I'm putting up this screenshot. Test, test, um, creating it. So now that you're creating an image, it's going to, it's going to say you have created this. And then you're going to click sell. You're going to write whatever price you want. 0.5, it's going to tell you the dollar amount. 2.5% of your sale will go to OpenSea. That's their service fee. Um, and whatever percentage you marked in your collection will go to you. And then you press complete listing, right? So, and you can edit it as well. You can edit the item. You can change this picture as many times as you want un until it is sold. Once it is sold, you cannot change anything. And if you decide that you don't like this picture, you just press delete and it's gone. And there's no extra gas fees for any of this. Deleted changes will take a minute to reflect. And you go back here. And that's it. So I hope this tutorial has helped you. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And um, if you like my collection, you want to take a look at my one of ones. Where the hell are they? They are here, the evolution of flowers. I think I have 347, 348. So you can take a look. And this is pretty much what I did for this whole collection. And it didn't cost me any extra money to put up as many pictures as I want. And these are other collections that I've made. This is my special request. This is the one that I just showed you, my PFP generative. And this is my AI generative. So if you want to explore links, they're all here. And I hope that helps. Bye, guys.